Hey guys, Mad Modded here. So, you probably thought it's been a bit. So, uh, um, let's start this off right. First off, I know already. I need a haircut. COVID sucks. But uh, with New York starting to kick back, I, I mean, I went out today just for a little ride. And I start, I mean, of course, we all have masks on and everything else. I mean, let me go ahead and show you my mask. I got my cloth mask that I just got. I had to wash it, too, because I hate when these masks smell. But everyone's wearing them. I got another one coming, but this is one of the masks I got. It has a filter. It, uh, if you think that, oh, what is, what is this? This is like a Jabob Wards filter, but there's a filter here. They give you like two or three of them. And you put them in the middle, and you wear it. Like that. Imagine doing the video, guys, like this. So... This is what New York is up to right now. It is this. Just this. Anyway, doing a video like that is retarded. But it's to keep everyone safe. And I, you know, I'm not going to deny that that needs to happen. I mean, with no vaccine for COVID, we are just stuck. So that needs to, ha that just needs to happen. Xbox mod, Xbox mod, Xbox mod. First and foremost, I I do have a special clip I will show you in a mo moment with my Xbox mod. Uh, I just give an example of where the mod chip's going to go, and I work with a lot of other things too, but I'm not going to show you fully, like one step to another, on soldering the mod chip. I'm going to be honest with you, there's so many people doing that same mod chip, and it's just so inundated on the internet, so I'm not going to just go here, 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 because it's so stupid on how to solder it. You'll see my video in a minute. So, it's a special clip for you guys. I'm going to be honest with you. While doing the mod, I've been looking into it and looking into it. And as I look into these mods, let me tell you, there is so much you can do with the original Xbox. Oh my god. I was shocked. So, I'm part of an Xbox Facebook group, but I'm going to uh, try to link them in my channel below. Uh, this video mainly is ded dedicated to them because let me tell you, it's a wonderful group of people that when I was stuck working on this mod, because I'm not perfect, I'm, like I said, no modder is perfect, but when I was stuck on this mod, I was able to post it on this Facebook group. Hey guys, I got this issue and this is what's going on. Can you help me? And I, and they're like so fantastic. The people are fantastic guys that are in that group. This is one. This one. This whole series is for you. This is part one to the series. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping me uh, get this video done. I do have some honorable mentions, and I will mention them in the in a video as I do the mods, because there are certain mods that I'm going to be doing on this Xbox that are dedicated to certain certain individuals within this group, and I will be making names and be mentioning it to them. Thank you. This is just fantastic, and I'm going to continue. I, it looks like this Xbox is never going to be done modded because every time I added a mod or took a mod down or do something with the mod, another one said, okay, this is fantastic. I want this in my Xbox. Oh, this is great. I want this in a... So you th I thought, oh, you know what? It'd be cool. Have a mod chip and add a, a hard drive onto it, one terabyte hard drive. Put my, my games on it. That's cool. No. No. Being in this group, it was like, look at my Xbox, look at my Xbox, look at my Xbox. And as I got, started looking at these Xboxes, I'm like, I want to do that. That doesn't look so hard. That's all I kept saying. I was like, wow. Either way, guys, without further ado, I'm not even going to put an end credit to it. Usually I do. Uh, hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe, as always. All right, guys, so um, I wanted to show you the board, at least one of the boards I've been working on. The first thing you're going to do, and as you can see, the chips are missing because I'm playing with experimentation with the, with this board. Um, the first thing you want to do for the open, open EXM chip is to build the, the port here. Now, the debug port was left here in the version 1 boards. The, one, the ones I've been working with today are going to be version 1 and 1.1 boards. Now, the debug port in the version 6 or 1.6 boards, you don't really see them. I mean, they're there, but you can't use a chip, a mod chip with it. 
That's what makes it kind of sucks a little. So what you're going to have to do is solder some legs to this. And I'm going to show you, oh, well, I'm not going to show you on the solder because it's really easy. But give me a second. I'm going to pull some more legs out and I'll show you what it looks like. Hold on. Gives you an idea. So the legs are like this. You got... You're going to get two sets of them when you buy the chip, but these are just ones I wanted to show you. You put them in here, like that. Now, if you notice, there's not one of the holes here. So the legs that you're going to get, they're going to be full. Each one of them, uh, they're going to be full, like these. I mean, these are easy to pull off. You can always, whatever you don't want, you can always just take off. I mean, I don't have the strength right now. But you can take them off if you don't need. See, they, they come off really easy. And once you're done, you put them back here. You flip the board over, and you solder them. So, without further ado, I'm going to do some uh, video magic. And... Alright, guys. So, as you can see, I soldered them on. I cleared off the ports. I soldered them on. And I already got the ground wire here. And I'm going to explain that about that ground wire in a minute. I'm also going to post a picture somewhere around here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So once this is sitting here, you literally just take your chip like this and place it right over. You don't have to put a lot of force into it. Just make sure all the pins that need to be in the chip are pushed in and they slide right down. The next spot is your ground wire. So you're going to solder your ground wire right here to this point here. And on this chip, it's really small, so I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to draw a picture up right there. So you can see it there are four pins I count from the top right next to the top smallest chip which is right here downward across to get to that fourth pin make sure you use some flux and a little bit of solder you should be good to go now later on we're gonna be using this port because we're gonna put an LCD screen on here we got a lot of stuff going on but you know what let's move over to the actual power port because that's I'm going to solder live on the camera here so you can see. Just to also let you know, it is a little dirty, but I'll tell you. Right here, I removed the clock capacitor because people were saying it leaks out. As you can see, it did leak out to this board here. It's easy to clean up. A little bit of alcohol. It should be, you know, right as rain. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to clean it up later towards the end of our video. But let's go work on the power the power board right now hold on all right so here is our xbox power board now there's no expanded capacitors you're probably thinking why the hell do you have it pulled out why did you do that so these things are not prone to blowing up or exploding or stuff like that there's only one problem with these things that happen and honestly it's going to make sense in about two moments so by the way this power supply really I really hate this freaking thing I'm not gonna lie it really taking this off the motherboard with this connector this little Molex connector right here pain in the butt anyway let me show you the reason why I brought it to you guys attention you're gonna flip it over carefully right and the ones you're gonna concentrate on is right here you see how it moves like I'll show you real quick you see how that moves that's from people plugging in the power, taking it out, plugging in, taking out. It's normal wear and tear. It really is. It's normal wear and tear. So what do you do for that, right? Good question. I'm going to take a little bit of this and turn on my, uh, my heating, I mean my, my soldering iron. Use a little bit of Q-tip with some solder. Let me solder. Wow. Some resin, some flux, and you're going to, what they call... You're gonna, you're gonna redo it. You're gonna redo it because honestly, it's just wear and tear. It's good to do it so that way you don't keep taking the, the Xbox apart. By the way, taking this thing apart is really easy, but it's time consuming. And who wants to go through all that? Got me some uh, some uh, nice uh, clear flux here. It's flux on top of flux, which is kind of funny and ironic at the same time. Uh, my soldering pen, and we're just gonna go here. Whoa, right? And we're gonna redo it. And 
Mm -hmm. Looks really good on the pads. Let's go give this one a little bit more. There you go. So, always good if you're taking your Xbox apart to do the mod, just do yourself a favor. Take apart your uh, power supply as well. Yes, it's a pain in the butt to, to take it out of the Xbox, but the same token, the reason why you do it is so that way you don't have to keep doing it over and over again. Now, how do you clean this up? You get yourself a little bit of alcohol, which I'll take care of in a minute, and you scrub this out. After that, what I've been using at the end of everything that I do is contact cleaner. Now, contact cleaner, WD-40 makes this, and all you gotta do, it's, it's safe for a metal and electronics. It's electronic cleaner. So you take it outside and you spray the heck out of this thing, and it cleans up all the contacts on the on the board here. It's your straight connection. Now, before you put this board back into your computer, uh, your Xbox, excuse me, just make sure everything is dried off, including the contact cleaner. And I say this because, come on, guys, this is an electronic part that you do not want to mess with. So for now. I'm gonna end our video. It is a short one. I can assure you the next one's gonna be even longer because we're gonna be putting an LCD on the Xbox and then we're gonna be doing other hidden stuff. We're gonna even have Alexa control this Xbox. And this is thanks to one of my Xbox Facebook groups. I am gonna mention his name in the next video uh, when I start putting this up because guy's a genius. So, see you soon.